Well, as you get ready to head out the door, just know that road crews are out there trying to make the pavement safe for you. And they can really use your help. So then this morning, John Shumway is here with a request from behind the wheel. John. Yeah, and the first thing to keep in mind is that these drivers are operating a huge piece of equipment that doesn't stop on a dime and it has challenging visibility. Whether it's PennDOT or Public Works trucks in all of our counties or in Pittsburgh, the vehicles are big and heavy, and drivers have their hands full and want room to work. You know, they are behind the wheel of a, a very large truck. They are trying to manage all of their clearances, making sure they're putting down the salt at the right levels. Uh, the last thing they need is somebody riding their tail and not letting uh, not letting them be able to see what it is they're putting down. PennDOT's Ben DeVore says following too closely creates a hazard. So that if they do slow, have to slow down quickly because of conditions, they don't want to cause an accident. And if you want to pass a salting, plowing truck? What's the safest way to do it? To not do it. I mean, you're really putting yourself in danger. Like our operators are worrying about a lot of different things. And the last thing they need is another car trying to pass us on the, on the, on the left. And he says don't even consider passing a plow on the right because you will drive right into the snow spray coming off that truck, and that is a recipe for a crash. Yeah, that could be really, really bad. All right, so how far back should you stay as a general rule of thumb? Best idea is far enough back that you can see the full salt spray coming off and okay. hitting the pavement. All right. All right. You gave us a Easy good visual to remember. There. Yeah. John, thanks. Thank you, John.